welcome back. It is lunchtime. We're coming in here to get the Ninja Turtle pizzas. That's what we're gonna make for lunch today. I think we'll do the cheese and the pepperoni. We got Mikey and who's on the cheese one? Donatello? Leo! Uh, 400, so I need to go up. I'm gonna go up to 375, because y'all know my oven <laughs> gets a little crazy sometimes. So yeah, we're gonna have pizzas, some cucumber. Uh, we still have some of the Pretzilla pretzel bites too, so they might want some of those. It says turtle shell pattern crust. I mean, what does that look like? Let's see. Oh, the bottom of the crust looks like a turtle shell. <laughs> oh. Heroes in a half shell, turtle power. Do they still say that on it these days? I don't know. <laughs> Feels like it's gonna be a good crust. They have little games on the back. This one has a maze, and this one has a word search, and you can make little stand-up turtle cards right here. I love word searches. Does that look like a turtle shell? <laughs> what do you think about it? Uh, it looks weird. Looks kind of weird. Since we're having pizza for lunch, I'm gonna try this California Pizza Kitchen ranch dressing. I dipped my pizza in ranch dressing for many years. When I was a kid, I used French. But now I don't like it anymore. I think it's just because I can't find the same French that we had back then. Not even sure what it was, but it was great. Me and Cece dip our, do you dip yours in ranch, Donna? Sometimes. Sometimes, he's a sometimes ranch dipper. I'm gonna run out to the garden and see if I have any peppers out there. I ordered some Serrano peppers from Walmart on my pickup order the other day, but they didn't have any, so I don't know why they didn't substitute for any peppers, but they didn't. Okay, it smells good. It's definitely different. I don't think the kids will like that one. It, it tastes a lot like restaurant style ranch, you know? It's really good. If you have a younger child, such as, you know, three years old, like Manly, who may not understand that this is not a real turtle shell um, crust, maybe don't tell him that it's uh, like a turtle shell on the back because he will not eat this pizza. <laughs> he thinks that it's a real turtle shell or he thinks it's made from turtle shell or something. He will not. I mean, I've tried several times, he's like, no. So he went with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because he's, he was not having turtle shell pizza. <laughs> Old feed trick. They don't want you to catch them sometimes, so you have to kind of trick them. This will be our last farm today. We got these last three here and we'll be done. Been a long one, I know that. y'all we are back inside it's time to get almost time to get supper started first though we're gonna make dessert we're making pudding pop dessert cups so y'all remember the jello pudding pops right let me help manly get his chair here we go 
So y'all remember, back in the 90s, there were the Jell-O Pudding Pops. They came out with these, you know, little kits where you could make them at home, all that jazz. We have tried many, many I'm recipes. This. The Real Deal Pudding Pops had like this little icy film on the outside, and then when you bit into it, it was creamy deliciousness. You could get chocolate or vanilla, I think, I or there was the chocolate and vanilla. Cake. Thank you. Or there was the chocolate and vanilla swirl. That was my favorite. That's what we're making tonight. But we're gonna do it in little, like, cups. We have these little dessert cups right here. Okay, we're gonna make the chocolate one in here, Manny. So dump that in. Okay, how many cups of milk? This says uh, two cups of milk. We're only gonna put one cup of milk. Okay, it's all done. Time to mix. Time to mix. Okay, well, hold up. We gotta put the milk in. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. Careful, there you go. And then we're gonna put in a third of this Cool Whip into the chocolate one, and I have two boxes of vanilla pudding. We'll add the rest of this in with that, and we will put two cups of... Mmm, smells good? Mm -hmm. We'll put two cups of milk in with these, since we're doing two boxes of vanilla. I'm gonna go ahead and be putting these in here, okay? It's all ready. Mm-hmm, that ready for the Cool Whip? Mm-hmm. I wanna get this. He has already begun taste testing, so I'm gonna finish mixing this now. Is it good? I have vanilla pudding. You like vanilla? Well, that's chocolate. Oh, I like chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> so we tried making, you can find lots of recipes online, and we've tried several of them, and they are, they are good, like I said. They're all good. It's just you can't get that exact texture that the actual pudding pops were. It's never exactly the same. So what, what we're gonna do is make these in the little cups. Oh, not this cup, these little cups over here. And then I'm gonna put them in the freezer while I cook supper. And whenever supper is done, when we sit down to eat, I'm gonna take them out and put them in the refrigerator. And then when we finish cleaning up and all that, when we're ready for dessert, they should still be just a little frosty frozen. Now we're gonna put two cups over here since we have two boxes of vanilla. I can do only one hand. One hand, what? That's amazing. Okay, y'all, supper tonight, rotini bake. We've got ground beef cooking here. Rotini starting back there. I'm gonna go ahead, oh, we need the mozzarella cheese shredded and the ricotta cheese out of the refrigerator. I'm gonna go ahead and make up the cheese mixture. For the cheese mixture, we need two eggs. We're gonna put in this whole 15 ounce container of ricotta cheese. Ready? Okay, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of salt, parsley flakes, and oregano. Now we're gonna put in all of the mozzarella cheese that we shredded except for just enough to put on the top. We have agreed on forever is that we love this stuff right here. well no <laughs> we loved those pudding pops growing up well they were just great. tell them what was on the outside those little ice see crystals or something. i didn't tell him to say that y'all yeah we just both both at the same time when we were kids we were loving that icy outside of that pudding pop probably so at one point why would you change I, and you, we were probably eating probably. a pudding pop at the same time. Loving that icy outside and we didn't even know each other. There we go. <laughs>
And I'll tell you the truth, I don't know why they ever stopped making I them. I know, they should have kept making those because the kits are just not the same. They're good, but they're not the same. No, let's see what we got here. And I actually, I just so left this them. So this is one of those? Well, I made it just in a cup. I made it like a little pudding cup instead of a pudding pop. What would happen is when That's you- really good. Yeah, when you took those pudding pops out of the freezer, even like the chocolate one, as soon as air hit it, it would turn white on the outside from that frostiness, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. It was great. But these are really good. Pudding really? pop cups. There you go. Happy summer. It's not over yet.